All right, good evening. I'm outside the National Constitution Center, and a group just came here protesting Pat Toomey's uh, position on Social Security. The group is Action United, and this is one of the spokespeople. Introduce yourself, please. Hi, my name is Pat Worrell. I'm the Vice President of Action United States. All right. Is this uh, affiliated with PA Action? PA, the whole state of right. PA. Okay, PA. all right. Um, you tell our... Uh, our listeners or viewers, why you're here this evening? We're here to let um, uh, Senator Toomey or Senator uh, to let him know that he needs to take his hands off our Social Security. It's fine the way it is. We don't need to pri privatize it. People work hard to to get their Social Security, and some for some that is their source of income and how they how they live daily, and they don't need to tell me told how to invest in it or to how to spend it. Talk for a few minutes. What? privatization of Social Security means because a lot of people just see that they don't really understand what it would mean it, to it them. Means, to them it means that they, 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 it would be uh, um, to put into a uh, stock market like fund to, to invest it in, in whatever they feel like they want to invest it in and you know the losses to I me mean, the, 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 the potential for loss is too great. You know, I mean, they only, I mean, the checks that they get from Social Security is not that much anyway to live off. And so to take that little bit of what they're the, the, trying to live off of and to, to privatize it and, and to be put in a unsecured type uh, format is just not a good idea at all. Plus, plus, it would increase the federal deficit by trillions um, of dollars? Trillion. Right, right now there's a surplus and we just need to leave it alone. Leave the program alone. It's working the way it is. And we don't need to put, uh, to have a, a, a stamp of green for all. Okay, why would somebody working now, contributing each paycheck into Social Security, knowing that when they get to age 62 or 65, they have a set benefit coming to them, why would you think they would support putting that money into Wall Street, letting the brokers make tons of money and fees off it, exactly. and being uncertain what they would have at retirement. Why would somebody who's working now support that kind of policy? I don't know anybody that would support that kind of uh, 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 I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense, because Wall Street, is right now it's in a secure place. It's been taken out of their paycheck, which they work hard for on a daily basis. It's set aside for them to when they need it. And they don't need that to be put into an unsecure type environment as the stock, as we see in this, how the stock market was J just a, a, a couple of months ago, a year ago. Now, if people want their own retirement fund, isn't it true there's already a privatized system called the IRA? Exactly. They, they put their money away as much as they want to put away for their own use and, and for their own. They know how to, they, can, they have control over that. So, the so that's already available. Exactly. It's available to them. Okay. If they want to put it in a, a, a stock market type form or, or an investment type form, the IRAs are all there available right. to them. They don't need the stock market telling them how they can spend their money. And it's, it, that, I mean, the stock market is, 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 is not a secure. I mean, even though, you know, the, the, the banks the way they are and, you know, the government bailing them out and so forth and so on, but it's not a secure place. The program works the way it does. It's in a surplus now, so it needs to be left alone. And it's perfectly good right now to the year 2037, correct? Yes. Okay. After that, isn't it true all that needs to be done is to raise the income cap? Well, some are fighting that. The income cap, that's up for debate, debate for some people. Because, um, the, the income cap... But would that be a simple fix? A simple fix to... To fund it beyond 2037. It could be a simple fix. Yeah. I mean, to fund it beyond that. Let me ask you this. Why wouldn't you... Just take your retirement savings, go over to Sugar House, <laughs> and say put it on a spin of the roulette wheel. I mean, you're putting it in the stock market and privatizing that, that's basically what, 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 what you're doing. That's what they're asking us to do. Okay. Does that make sense to you to no, not at do all. that with your retirement? No, not at all. Okay. People, people have, should have a choice to spend their money the way they want, not, not to be set at risk in, in a market that is no 
one knows what the outcome is. They, they get their checks every month. They can do what they want with it, not before. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking a few minutes with us. Thank you.